The industry is getting a lot more complicated. Uh, the operations are not only you know, in the conventional fields, but also in the ultra deep water, in the high latitudes, Arctic, so on. So efficiency is, is not just in the operation, it's in the planning, it's in the organizing, it's in the resources that are required and the forecasting. And that means a much broader and much more systematic uh, planning of the work. And this is a challenge because if the, although oil prices are soft and the supply seems to be flat, nevertheless the complexity is increasing. So the demand on people and resources is increasing and the need to integrate is also increasing. And as you heard, uh, the client, the service company, needs to work very closely with the owners of the assets. And the owners of the asset themselves are stretched. So this is a very uh, slowly but uh, systematically evolving reality. That it's going to be harder and harder to produce. What's happened in the industry in general is the easier conventional oil fields have been pretty much uh, matured. Uh, the giant fields where you could develop a few wells and then go away for a while and come back, that's all history. So now we're moving into smaller and smaller accumulations in frontier areas that deplete faster, that require far more attention. That's absorbed all the human resources and the contractor resources. And the giant majors and major companies of the world have to deal across the whole world in all these environments so it, they too are challenged and the governments that they have to interact with are often new in the business. So they too don't appreciate all the issues. So it's a learning curve for everybody and the bottom line is higher costs, slower delivery. The situation is that uh, once a technology is proven in one location, it becomes applicable in many more. And uh, so if we take the situation or the technology associated with deep offshore, that was uh, developed in the Gulf of Mexico. It was a great success, and so it became very attractive to apply in other regions, offshore Brazil, West Africa, East Africa, uh, Southeast Asia, and that then called for a lot more resources from the service companies that had to scale up um, and try to meet all the requirements, which is very difficult. So the demand came up, the services cannot respond fast enough, the costs go up because then all of these areas are competing and ultimately that will drive prices higher because the costs are going to climb. So this is the reality of the industry uh, going forward.